Meghan Markle and Prince Harry reportedly moved to Los Angeles from Canada with their son Archie in March 2020, a development that inspired a very pointed tweet from President Donald Trump about the cost of the couple's security. He tweeted, It was reported that Harry and Meghan, who left the United Kingdom, would reside permanently in Canada. Now they have left Canada for the U.S. However, the U.S. will not pay for their security protection. They must pay. Although it's not the most welcoming tweet ever, some might argue that Trump raised a fair point. With Meghan and Harry officially stepping down as members of the royal family on March 31, 2020, the cost of their security must fall to someone, and no political leader is necessarily obligated to shoulder the financial burden. Had they remained working members of the royal family, then the British government would have covered their security bill. But since the couple has chosen to step down, that's no longer the United Kingdom's responsibility. And when Meghan and Harry moved to Canada, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police provided protection. However, that service ended on March 31st, according to CBC News. And I think we were just hit so hard at the beginning with a lot of mistruths that I made the choice to not read anything. Despite all the drama, Harry and Meghan apparently aren't phased by Trump's security cost claims because they have the funds to cover their security costs themselves. The dough will likely come from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's sizable net worths. For instance, Meghan Markle is reportedly worth $5 million thanks to her acting career and other projects, while Prince Harry supposedly has $25 million in the bank. Not only does the Duke benefit from a trust Princess Diana set up, but according to the Daily Mail, he also earned money during his time in the army. Additionally, when the Queen Mother died in 2002, the BBC reported, Princes William and Harry will reportedly share about 14 million pounds from the estate of their late great-grandmother. The bulk of the cash will go to the younger brother, since William will benefit financially by becoming king. Plus, as a source told People, Prince Charles will be offering private financial support to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle following their agreement with Queen Elizabeth. Considering the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's impressive bank balances, it's hardly surprising that the couple's rep told Fox News, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have no plans to ask the U.S. government for security resources. Privately funded security arrangements have been made. It's fair to argue Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been plagued by negativity ever since 2016 when they became a couple. President Donald Trump's recent tweet and the subsequent comments to his claim sadly revealed that very little has changed. Many critics were quick to point out that the Duchess has publicly slammed Trump in the past, so the president definitely shouldn't be paying for the couple's private security. However, there isn't any public evidence that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex planned on asking for support. Regardless, it's starting to look like this particular spat won't be resolved anytime soon. Although the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have money of their own, their cost of living outside the United Kingdom will be very expensive, especially when it comes to private security over the course of a year. Town & Country reported, Let's say $570,000 for residential security, $245,000 for a driver, and $150,000 for an advance agent. That doesn't include the cost of the car or the gas or other things, so it's $1 million. However, CBC News revealed, Security experts, including retired Met Police Protection Officers, have estimated that the cost of protecting the couple in their new life could fall in the range of $10 million to $30 million a year. Security costs aside, it's clear that the couple will be busy with their various projects. According to Time, the couple plans to launch a non-profit organization for their charitable activities in areas including youth empowerment, mental health, conservation, gender equality, and education. Harry will also continue to oversee the Invictus Games, the Olympic-style competition he founded for wounded troops. Markle also has a new job with Disney, working as the narrator for the documentary Elephant. In many ways, it's an exciting new chapter for Meghan and Harry, and it's probably safe to say they're too busy to be phased by Donald Trump. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.